What I hear, I forget. What I see, I may not remember. What I do, I understand. I'm Randy Burton. We're at the Chautauqua County Children's Safety Village in Asheville, New York today at BOCES for some exciting news. Welcome to Destination Chautauqua County. Okay, thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Joel Jurassi. I'm Chautauqua County Sheriff. I also serve as the president of the Children's Safety Education Village. And today we, I'm here with many of the board members and representatives from BOCES that uh, we are acknowledging what the governor released in a recent uh, statement that the Safety Village has been successful in, in being awarded $1.76 million through a Transportation Enhancement Program grant. and. Uh, to say that we're elated would be an understatement, but uh, it is truly bringing now what's almost a 12-year project to its final end, and uh, we're hoping to be open for business early in 2010. Uh, it's a goalie skills. <laughs> uh, I, there's a, so many people to thank, and I know I'm going to miss somebody, and if I do, I apologize. I really want to thank Bob Jafrida, the district superintendent for BOCES and BOCES board. They have been so supportive of this program. In fact, brought, uh, offered us property when this thing began so we could bring together an educational opportunity for young people and the older child and students that are at BOCES who we hope to, to work with hand in hand day to day through the operation of the Safety Village. And without their support, we would not have been successful in this grant for $1.76 million. I love saying that. It's a great number. Uh, and also, I, I got the board members behind me. We've been working at this thing diligently. We meet every week and have done so for uh, a dozen years. And uh, we've got over uh, half a million dollars invested with local fundraising and uh, volunteer support. And it just enough can't be said about them. Uh, it's just a phenomenal amount of work that they've committed to. I uh, also want to thank Doug Fricky, who is an individual that has helped us. He's put together several grant applications, this being obviously the most successful one. And it, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank uh, people at the State Department of Transportation. They, too, have been very supportive, encouraging us to apply for these funds and helping us uh, by guiding us through the application process. And hopefully they'll be with us uh, through the construction phase as well. There's a whole lot of volunteers that have helped with what you see so far here at the village. Uh, there's 28 sites. All but five of those sites have been committed to and already have been built on. Uh, we have two new uh, contributors to the village that we're real proud of, and uh, that is the McDonald's Corporation and uh, Tim, Tim Hortons have uh, committed to the Safety Village. McDonald's building is nearly complete. Tim Hortons will be under construction very shortly. But so many people have helped with the infrastructure helping put together uh, what you see here today, and we're going to have even more help as we go forward with completion of the safety village. I'm just going to tell you, Sheriff, I am so excited that we're going to have the opportunity to touch every child in Chautauqua County and teach them traffic safety and fire safety. And based on the proven facts from the 12 safety villages in Ontario, Canada, these are lessons that save lives. And I hope our deputies and firefighters never have to go to another tragedy where it involves young people. It's things that we can avoid by teaching and we know through this process they're going to learn by doing and it's the best way to teach young people. Okay, without further comment I'd like to turn this over to Bob Jafrida, the District Superintendent of BOCES and uh, give him a chance to make a couple of comments. Thank you, Joe. And uh, 
We would like to send congratulations to Sheriff Joe Girasi as the president of the organization and all of the individuals who committed hundreds and hundreds of hours, countless hours, the dedication of the group of the Children's Safety Village working every week. As Joe mentioned, they did meet every week. And we were always getting correspondence and always being invited to attend the meetings, but our schedules didn't permit. But we knew they were in really good hands. Uh, the TEP grant, our federal monies, and as Joe mentioned, $1.7 million plus coming uh, for the Children's Safety Village. We can't say enough about the safety uh, for our young people. And I think this safety village is going to go beyond just not only Chautauqua County, but we'll be able to outreach to all of our 27 component districts and we'll be a model for other uh, supervisory districts to showcase for the safety of children. On behalf of the Erie 2 Chautauqua County Board of Education, uh, all 13 members, they engaged this process from day one. They've been 100% supportive. To be the sponsors of this grant, working with the Children's Safety Village, is really going to make a wonderful opportunity for young children. Just want to turn a minute to uh, Tom and Joe, one of our board members, uh, for some comments. Joe from the board would like to say thank you. I was present uh, on the night that you brought this idea forward. We were delighted and extremely excited as a board to hear this concept. We were behind it 100%. We were uh, disappointed when some issues came up that slowed us down. We kept constantly asking what we can do to expedite this and extremely encouraged by your uh, thoughts and work and from all the board members. And to this, we'd like to say to all of you, thank you because kids are so important to us. That was great to partnership with you, and we're looking forward to the future of what this is going to do for the children of Chautauqua County. Again, thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah, I better, I better say something, uh, because uh, no one's saying really uh, from the board anyways, and, and, and our members, thanks to Joe and, uh, and uh, our board members. Joe has worked tirelessly trying to get this thing put together. And as he said, it's been close to a dozen years and meeting once every week to make sure that this happens. And the people throughout this county dug in their pockets to help us. When we started, we were talking maybe a million dollars. And we raised something like 600000 And it, because it's taken so long, of course, the, the cost has inflated quite a bit. And... Uh, the, the cooperation we've gotten from both these uh, and even our sponsors uh, that uh, put up uh, the facilities out here. You know, AAA uh, was uh, uh, early on and, and uh, been supporting this thing. And, um, you know, the, the, the Teachers uh, uh, Credit Union was our first building up over here. And uh, they, they stuck with us and raised even more money for us. Uh, so there's a lot of people to thank, and we're not going to name names, as Joe said, because we might miss somebody. But uh, Joe Girasi, i, I got to take my hat off, too. I sit on a lot of boards, and a lot of uh, president of boards work hard, but he is a work uh, uh, horse. Thanks. That's Tony Graff, the vice president of the board. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Tony. I'm here representing... Herman Kent, post 777, 13 years ago, my post brought the concept down from Canada about the safety village and had gone to Sheriff Tarasi and others uh, trying to get them interested in it, and it didn't take much. They were. My post has uh, supported this financially, and we provided for at least eight years uh, a place for them to meet every Thursday. Uh, they are, some of our officers have passed on. Uh, Tom Mendenhall was a very big part of this. He was a treasurer for a long time for the Safety Village. Uh, Mike Souter was commander at the time. We brought the idea down from uh, Canada. Uh, on their behalf, I'm just proud to say uh, we, we are so proud to be a part of this organization. I hope that we'll, like uh, Sheriff Strassi says, that we will be able to save children's lives because uh, uh, up in Waterloo, Canada, it has. They have uh, proven it. And... Uh, this is, I'm just happy, that's all I can say. I, I'm, I'm too emotional to say too much more. Thank you. So you, you just might want to say, you know, the first ones to really get out of this uh, uh, was the American Legion and uh, the Sertoma Club of Jamestown. Uh, 